Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Yes, you saw it right on the thumbnail and the title. You actually can browse web pages on the internet right from your Galaxy Watch Active. Let's get into it. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches and smartphones, designing tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find curated playlist for various content we post on this channel where you'll find a playlist exclusively for Galaxy Watch Active. Be sure to check it out. Alright guys, there is a lot of cool stuff that your Galaxy Watch Active can do. One of them is browsing internet right from your watch. Okay, so there are multiple ways to do that. You can either download a third-party web browser for the from the Galaxy App Store, but Samsung has really stepped up with your web browsing experience by including a built-in Samsung Internet app. The icon of this app is just like the Samsung Internet app on the Samsung smartphone, as you can see here. By the way guys, this is our Amazon storefront where you can find awesome deals on various smartwatches and accessories and you can find the link to our store in the description of this video where you will also find link to try Amazon Prime for absolutely no charge. Be sure to check it out. Alright, so as I said, you do not need to download this app as it's built in already. Before I start up the browser. I do want you to know that the browsing experience will be great if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network like I am. It would work via Bluetooth but you do not want to do that as it will be super slow and laggy. So once you made sure that the watch is connected to a Wi-Fi network, let's fire up the browser. This browser is also built in for Samsung's uh, other smartwatches like Galaxy Watch Active 2 and other smartwatches. Once opened, you will see all your bookmarks and option to search on Google. Let's go ahead and open a web page. In my case, I'll open up our Amazon storefront and see how fast it opens and how's the viewing experience and interaction with different elements. So unlike a mobile phone, the page loading speed is not that fast. Keep in mind this page has already been catched. That is, I have opened this page in the past on this watch, so it must load faster than a newer, fresh web page. Right away, it converts a desktop page to a mobile version for better viewing experience. And to me, this is pretty cool. I came from Fitbit Versa where having a web browser on the Versa is still a nightmare and over here I can have a crisper image with readable text and clickable element. You also get options to add bookmarks, refresh, access bookmarks, show on phone and easy view on and off. I would personally recommend it off as it makes the experience more mobile like versus if you were to turn it on it would convert the pages to plain text and images which i personally do not like so let's turn it off let me go ahead and open my youtube channel on the browser by the way guys I have done a separate video about YouTube app on Galaxy Watch Active linked up here. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. And the newer Galaxy Watch Active 2 will have a built-in YouTube app. How cool that would be. To be honest, the browsing experience is pretty decent and satisfactory. Let's go ahead and search up my blog on Google, that is health gossip. I tend to type it up with the keyboard which works the best for me as the Google voice to text does not pick up all the time what I have to say. So the blog looks pretty good, it did take a while to load up though but in all the text, images and the details are pretty clear and legible. 
you can zoom in with two fingers and do the opposite to zoom out and you can drag from the corners to the center to have a clear view of the corner in case if you have to do that as you saw earlier as well so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you found something interesting in this video i would say it um, though it would be pretty nice to have a, a square screen versus a rounded screen um, like the Fitbit Versa which apparently does not support web browsing but boy with this sort of advancement in the wearable tech I can foresee a future where we no longer need a smartphone let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about it so I really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video it really means a lot thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care i'll see you guys in the next one peace